All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, T. I'm Tasha. And welcome to the adventures of TNT. TNT. Now, we are back doing some more George Carlin, in which this piece is called The Illusion of Security. Mm. Let's go ahead and jump into it, because, uh, you know, George Carlin, he makes comedy that makes you think. Mm -hmm. Let's go. That's another thing they don't like at the airport, jokes. You know? Yeah, you can't joke about a bomb. Well, why is it just jokes? What about a riddle? <laughs> How about a limerick? How about a bomb anecdote? You know, no punchline, just a really cute story. Or suppose you intended the remark, not as a joke, but as an ironic musing. Are they prepared to make that distinction? Why, I think not. And besides, who's to say what's funny? Airport security is a stupid idea, it's a waste of money, and it's only there for one reason, to make white people feel safe. What year was this, though? I don't know. This could not have been uh, after September 11th. Oh, this had man. to be before. before that. I don't know. There is no way. Because after September 11th, that's when you couldn't say a bomb and you couldn't say certain things at yeah. the airport. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. That's all. The illusion. The feeling and illusion of safety. Because the authorities know they can't make an airplane completely safe. Too many people have access. You'll notice the drug smugglers don't seem to have a lot of trouble getting their little packages on board, do they? No, and God bless them too. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, an airplane flight shouldn't be completely safe. You need a little danger in your life. Take a fucking chance once in a while, will you? What are you gonna do? Play with your prick for another 30 years? What are you gonna read People magazine and eat at Wendy's till the end of time? Take a fucking chance. Besides, even if they made all of the airplanes completely safe, the terrorists would simply start bombing other places that are crowded. Porn shops, crack houses, titty bars, and gangbangs. You know, entertainment venues. The odds of you being killed by a terrorist are practically zero. So I say relax and enjoy the show. You have to be a realist. You have to be realistic about terrorism. Certain groups of people, certain groups, Muslim fundamentalists, Christian fundamentalists, Jewish fundamentalists, and just plain guys from Montana are going to continue to make life in this country very interesting for a long, long time. That's the reality. Angry men in combat fatigues talking to God on a two-way radio and muttering incoherent slogans about freedom are eventually going to provide us with a great deal of entertainment. Especially after your stupid fucking economy collapses all around you and the terrorists come out of the woodwork and you'll have anthrax in your water supply and sarin gas in your air conditioners there'll be chemical and biological suitcase bombs in every city and I say enjoy it relax enjoy the show take a fucking chance put a little fun in your life to me terrorism is exciting it's exciting I think the very idea that you can set off a bomb in a marketplace and kill several hundred people is exciting and stimulating and I see it as a form of entertainment entertainment that's all it is yeah. Oh, my God. But, but I also know that most Americans are soft and frightened and unimaginative, and they don't realize there's such a thing as dangerous fun. And they certainly don't recognize a good show when they see one. I have always been willing to put myself at great personal risk for the sake of entertainment. And I've always been willing to put you at great personal risk for the same reason. As far as I'm concerned, all of this airport security, all the searches, the screenings, the cameras, the questions, it's just one more way of reducing your liberty and reminding you that they can fuck with you anytime they want. As long as you put up with it. Yikes. As long as you put up with it. Which means, of course, anytime they want. Because that's what Americans do now. They're always willing to trade away a little of their freedom in exchange for the feeling, the illusion of, of security. security. Oh, what we have wow. now is a completely neurotic population obsessed oh. with security and safety and crime and drugs and cleanliness and hygiene and germs. There's another thing. Germs. 
Where did this sudden fear of germs come from in this country? Have you noticed this? The media constantly running stories about all the latest infections, salmonella, E. coli, hantavirus, bird flu, and, and Americans, are they panic easily, so now everybody's running around scrubbing this and spraying that and overcooking their food and repeatedly washing their hands, trying to avoid all contact with germs. It's ridiculous, and it goes to ridiculous lengths in prisons. Before they give you a lethal injection, they swab your arm with alcohol. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. Well, well, they don't want you to get an infection. And you can see their point. Wouldn't want some guy to go to hell and be sick. It would take a lot of the sportsmanship out of the whole execution. Fear of germs, why these fucking pussies. <laughs> you can't even get Wash a decent hamburger anymore. There. They cook the shit out of everything now because everybody's afraid of food poisoning. Hey, where's your sense of adventure? Take a fucking chance, will you? You know how many people die in this country from food poisoning every year? 9,000, that's all. It's a minor risk. <laughs> Take a fucking chance, bunch of goddamn pussies. Besides, uh, what do you think you have an immune system for? It's for killing germs. But it needs practice. It needs germs to practice on. So, so listen. So listen. If you kill all the germs around you and live a completely sterile life, then when germs do come along, you're not going to be prepared. Be and never mind ordinary germs. What are you going to do when some super virus comes along that turns your vital organs into liquid shit? <laughs> I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to get sick, you're going to die, and you're going to deserve it because you're fucking weak and you got a fucking weak <laughs> immune system. Oh, Jeez. no. Jeez, oh, George. my goodness gracious. Oh, All right, man. Yes, this was. I this, don't know. Th this was crazy. <laughs> yeah. This was insane, and it, it's funny how a lot of what he has said is somewhat kind of relevant. Mm -hmm. You know, um, sometimes you do feel like we're in a society right now where we do have less freedoms. We're trading uh, freedoms. Yeah, you're trading freedoms for security. You know, the illusion of the, the illusion of security. Yeah. Um, mm. Because sometimes it, it it poses a question about like airport security if it really stops uh, uh, attacks from happening or uh, what they actually do because you know there was this situation of where they were they had the uh, the TSA agents were patting people down and they were actually uh, groping them or sexually assaulting them or there was a situation where there was like a child that needed a that that the agent end up patting down and they were like you know this is a child right. and so there there have been situations where um they've kind of crossed the line mm -hmm. over situ uh, over things that were kind of unnecessary mm -hmm. but also when he started talking about uh germs and viruses and mm -hmm. stuff like that you know the media creates sometimes a frenzy of where of, of panic mm -hmm. of where you know you do feel like Oh, I need to go out and do this, or I need to do that in order to feel safe. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yeah, I just I thought that was very relatable. Okay. So yeah. interesting. Yeah. All right, Dan. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, guys, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let us know what you thought about this uh, piece from George Carlin. And if you have any other suggestions, go ahead and uh, leave them down below as well. Anyway, we'll see you guys in our next video. Peace. Ta -ta.